I hope you're doing well. I wanted to give you a scripture reading uh, this afternoon. It comes from 1 Peter 5, 6 through 9, and I'm going to reverse my camera here. Humble yourselves under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your cares or anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. So when I read that passage this morning, a couple things came uh, into my mind, and you saw my notes on there. Uh, one, our mighty God cares for us, uh, and so we can trust him. We can trust him. Uh, the second part of that is the defeated enemy roars so you can resist him. Uh, it's possible to resist the enemy. Uh, but let me talk about the, f the first one first. Uh, our mighty God cares, you can trust in him. Peter said, humble yourselves under God's mighty hand. And I wonder what he had in mind when he said God's mighty hand. Was he thinking of when Jesus walked on the water and then called Peter out onto the water um, and, and Peter walked on the water? Was he thinking about when Jesus, um, you know, multiplied the bread and the fish and, and fed 5,000 men, 15,000 people, and it was going through Peter's hands? Uh, was he thinking about when Jesus healed his mother-in-law and he was worried about her? Uh, I'm not sure, but it's fun to speculate. He could have meant all of those things. He could have had all those things in his mind when he, he said, Humble yourself, right? Submit yourself under God's mighty hand, and he will lift you up. And then he says, cast all your cares on him. And that term, what do you think he's thinking? As a fisherman, he's thinking nets. Cast your nets, right? And, and in his day and age, the nets that he's talking about are really thick, heavy nets. They're not little play nets. They're not little fishing nets little, you know, things that we would use today. They were heavy. They were thick. They, they, it took two hands to hurl those out of the boat. And sometimes it took uh, two or several men to, to throw them as far as they needed to go. Um, you know, Charles Spurgeon says that in order for us to cast our cares on him, it takes two hands. It takes uh, uh, a hand of prayer and a hand of faith that we would believe God can do what he says he can do and what he promises he can do. And that we would pray and we would seek him. We would submit to him. Cast all your cares. Humble yourself so you can cast all your cares because he cares for you. He is perfect in wisdom. He knows all things. He's perfect in love. He loves you beyond compare. And he's powerful. He knows how to handle every situation. Um, the second part was your defeated enemy roars, but you can resist him. I love this part because a lot of times we just lay down uh, like lambs to the slaughter to the enemy. Now, this is how the enemy roars. We give in to temptation. That's one way he roars. We think, oh, this is too big. I can't handle this. I, I can't possibly overcome uh, this sin. Uh, it's too big for me. I've done it for too long, whatever it is, right? And we go, no, and then we lay down um, and get slaughtered, right? We believe his roar. Secondly, he will roar about um, uh, lies about God. He'll say, oh, God's not, God doesn't love you, or God doesn't care, or um, God doesn't notice, or um, he's not powerful. And so you might as well um, move on from God, or you might as well handle it yourself, right? Or maybe he roars about lies about you. And this is what I wonder if Peter had in mind, too, um, when he said, um, resist him standing firm in the faith. Right? Because Peter denied Jesus three times. And I wonder if after that conviction cut to his heart, if he walked away thinking, there's absolutely no way I could ever be forgiven. There's no way. I denied my Savior, the Messiah, my King. I denied him. 
And it's one thing for Peter to mess up. I mean, he always had his foot in his mouth, right? He was always saying goofy things at, at goofy times. And he cut that soldier's ear off one time when Jesus was being arrested, right? There, but there's, there's grace there. But here, here Peter denied Jesus. And, um, and I bet he felt really, really bad about it. And that was one of the lies that the enemy brought to him, I bet. There's no way God could ever forgive you. My encouragement to you today is stand firm in the faith. Don't listen to the enemy. Listen to the grace of God in Jesus Christ who allowed sin to devour his son so that you wouldn't have to be devoured. That's the gospel. Our mighty God cares. You can trust in him.